Hi guys, Sarah Dorachik here, and if you're new, welcome to my pet channel. Today, I wanted to spot clean Ashley's tank on camera, so let's get going. And here to help me with me is my younger nine-year-old sister, Abigail. Hi guys! So, some of you today might be watching this to get instructions on how to spot clean a hamster's habitat. So first, you guys are going to go get some Timothy hay or orchard grass, whichever you have, and then a box of bedding. We have our Timothy hay and our bedding. I stored mine in a bin and it's great for keeping it sealed. So let's get started, guys. First, you guys are going to go ahead and take off the lid very carefully. Here, Abigail, why don't you go put that over there? Okay. All right. Now it seems a little... Oh, and there she is. Here, let me get her on camera for you guys. Say hi. She is not camera shy, let me tell you. All right. And next, what you guys are going to want to do is start emptying the main things. But you need to be careful because some hamsters get really stressed out when you're cleaning their tank. So if you notice any symptoms of that, just be sure to kind of take it easy on them. So we're going to start by taking some of this stuff out. So guys, like you just saw in the video, you're going to take most of it out, but the main stuff like your water bottle and the wheels, you don't necessarily have to take out. Only when you're big time spot cleaning like I am right now, except I'm not taking out of the bedding. So let's go ahead and take out the wheels and then the other big stuff guys. Now we have our two wheels taken out, our water bottle is still in there, and we have a cover where I put some other water, our platform, hay, seesaw, and our other accessories taken out. And she's showing some symptoms of being stressed out, so we're going to hurry up and spot clean. You guys can go ahead and get a plastic bowl, I have a styrofoam, and a spoon. Most likely a disposable spoon because your parents probably won't want you using another kind. So, And then we're going to start spot cleaning. And by that, I mean we're going to be picking out just bits of hay like this that we don't want in there. Unwanted stuff. And here, I'm going to show you an example. Like this stuff right here. We're going to get rid of that. Stuff like that you can pick up with your spoon, and if you see any poop, then you can pick that up too. So then you're just going to want to make sure you can either have the bedding even, like uh, or I have lower on one side and the other side it goes up a little bit so she has two options and I wanted to show you guys what this is all about so this this I made it was intentionally going to be a maze but then I wanted to kind of divide a part of the cage off so I'm gonna think I'm gonna put this in the corner maybe for the wheel so let's see if it fits in this corner right here Kind of dig out the bedding. I don't want to scare her though. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around like this so it's in the corner and push it down as much as I can like that. And I'm gonna find something to put on there. Okay, we could do the seesaw because it needs a flat thing. How about the wheels? Great idea. Option is two wheels. I have this one right here and the flying saucer. So a lot of hamster owners do this. We're gonna 
get a little pinch of hay. Like maybe this much. And we're going to go around and kind of just sprinkle it. There we go. All right, it gives it kind of a natural look to the cage. So smooth that around. Also, I wanted to make sure she has a level here to get to her water bottle. Let me see. That's good. Right, now we're going to go ahead and pick a few more of these. I think I'm going to leave this out. And this is kind of like a treat teaser. I wanted to always have this in here. So this is a chew toy. This is also just a piece of cardboard, basically. Put that over there. Um, these are just bowls she likes to climb over. And I'll put this in the corner. All right, let's take a look around the cage. We have our water here, two wheels there, seesaw, and our other tubes, and our food area. All right, I also wanted to mention, this may look a little crowded, but actually, if you didn't know, hamsters like it crowded because it is they get it's easier for them to get scared when they don't have anything to hide from. So it, it's good to have it kind of semi-crowded. Now let's go ahead and get out our hay and see what we can do with that. All right, here is our hamster food. I'm going to get a little scoop of this. So you can see... And take some of that. So what I do is put half in her bowl. Here, you get your food, sweetie. Woo! There you go. And I'm going to put the other half and kind of scatter feed it. And I have a little bit left, and I don't think I'm going to use that. So, let's dump that back. There we go. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and like, post, comment below, and have a good day everyone. See you next video.